I'm cutting out client lash info cards. I made these specifically for my shop. And if you guys are interested, I'm thinking about putting this on Etsy as like a PDF or maybe even to sell. So if you guys are interested, of course it would not have my watermark, but if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. For my clients, I actually have everyone have like an individual info card because honestly, it's hard to remember everyone's lash map so i just put it on here and every appointment i always take it out as a refresher also look at this mess life as a lash artist so today is technically my day off and i kind of just ran a bunch of errands i still have some of my haul on here this is from target and also from safeway the rest i kind of already put away but now i'm trying to think what else do i have to do for work I already cut out my client info cards. I already did my prep stuff. Let me show you. So uh, if you guys don't know, I usually do also like a prep kit. I'll show you guys that in another video, but I just brought the stuff that I needed to bring home in here and I made more of these cards. These are just my loyalty cards. So they have little punch cards and then the 50% off your fourth fill. And these are just kind of like pre-made. So they have the bottom tape for the eyelashes. And then they have the tapes to pull the top lid back. And I have a few of those ready to go so I can bring to work. I also have this lash mirror that I just bought and need to bring to work. Because my other one broke, which was annoying. And then these are just the tapes that I brought home to pre-cut these. So sticking these in here so I can also bring those to work tomorrow. Do I have anything else I need to do? Yes. I wanted to make lash complimentary lash bath kits for my clients because I think I only have one more at the studio so I need to stock up on those and I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I do that as well. Ooh, but first let me put away all my groceries because there is quite a few things I need to still put away. They finally came out. I do print these on sticker paper, so I cut them out so that they can be stickers and I can just put them on the bottle. It's super easy. As you can see, I kind of do a lot for my business. I DIY a lot of things, so I really put a lot of effort into my business, but I absolutely love doing this stuff. I love crafting. Look at how cute these are. I like to leave some space on the side right here. I know it l might look weird to you guys, but I kind of like to see how much product I have left. I think the window is really cute. And it just has my branding, instructions on how to wash your lashes, complimentary lash shampoo, and then the ingredients on the back. What I also like about these is that the sticker is waterproof, so you don't have to worry about the ink smudging off. You can get it wet because they're going to get wet anyways. These are all that I've done so far. I do have a few more left, but I'm actually going to end this vlog here because I am about to eat dinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's been a while since I've seen you guys, and I know it's a little bit different from my usual stuff, but I did want to incorporate a few like businessy things because that's kind of what i've been doing these days and also maybe would help some other lash artists out there so if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me bye